right, welcome back guys. Today we are going on a road trip. I'm going on a road trip to Cimarron, New Mexico. I'm gonna go check out the uh, St. James Hotel. Supposedly it's supposed to be haunted. I've been there before, but never had all the equipment I have now to, to try it out. And uh, I also have this doll that I had ordered. It's supposed to be a haunted doll. It came all the way from Ohio. She's still in the box, so I'm gonna take her out. And uh, the room I'm staying at is the Mary Lambert room. And I guess she had little kids, so what a better way to uh, you know, open up that doll, introduce the doll to the little kids. So, so it's about a three hour trip. I just put some gas now and it's up north. It's up north, so take a little while so I'll show you guys the the highway because we just got a snowstorm uh, last night so uh, sit back relax and hope you guys enjoyed this video <music> I made it to Simaron St. James Hotel and I'm in the uh, Mary Lambert's room and I'll give you guys a quick tour of this room supposedly she had passed away in here along with her kids I guess she lost like a two-year-old little boy so uh, we'll do some EVP later uh, like I said I brought that doll so we'll have to mess around with that but for now I'll just show you around the room and take you on a tour of the whole hotel So this lamp right here, supposedly at night or at any time, she'll tap on it with her nail. Uh, I've seen it on YouTube, so I don't know how true it is, but we'll have to find out tonight. Alright guys, so we're going to take a tour around. This is that room 18, one of the cowboys that had gotten shot and uh, he won the game, or well, he won the hotel in a poker game and he ended up getting shot because of that. They keep this door padlocked, locked up, you can't go in there, can't stay in there. It's a pretty neat room though. And they have these red ropes because when you come to see the hotel, 
you're not allowed to go in there unless you rent the room so kind of keeps your room clean and it doesn't allow people to be in your room but uh this is all old school beds i mean all these places had fireplaces there is no phone for room service so you're pretty much like like the old days you just had a room sink fireplace a bathroom and some of these rooms actually don't have a bathroom but at the end of the hallway there is a restroom that it's a community restroom it has a shower toilet you know so you can wash up So this is going to be the part one of the St. James Hotel in Cimarron, New Mexico. And then I will do a part two of the night, going around at night, trying to catch EVPs and uh, see if we see anything crazy out there in this, in this hotel. <laughs> Supposedly the chandeliers move and the lights turn off and and uh, this is this is the poker room. So this is where the guy got shot and drug himself all the way down to that room 18 and passed away in between the door. And supposedly he's supposed to haunt that room. This room right here will be the room I stay in next because the Mary Lambert room was booked. And then, unfortunately, the people that booked the room never even showed up that night, so it would have been kind of nice to stay there another night in that room. But what you see here is pretty much what you get. The rooms are really clean. The beds are clean. No complaints right here at all, staying here at this hotel. So what you see here is like the old uh, keychains that would be on the key for the room. This hotel has a lot of history from the 1800s, which is pretty neat. And uh, so if you guys ever go out there to visit it, like I said, it's in Cimarron, New Mexico. Depending on where you live, it's kind of a drive, but well worth it. And the rooms are pretty reasonable. So if you guys plan on taking a trip for the weekend or, or you're just curious on what this place looks like, you can even just take a tour of it and just walk around.
So right here they have this cool book that you can sign in on. And this book's been here many years. You can see as the dates are written down right there, but I put my name in there. And this part is a lobby where you check in at. So they have all these old school clocks, seats, chairs, and then in that case right there, they have a bunch of souvenirs, which is pretty cool. They got a hat and a vest. There's the front desk right there where you check in at. Now this is the bar. The bar is not the original bar that was there back then. This bar is actually from another hotel. But they do have cool artifacts. They have uh, all the original games. They have good food. If you guys ever go there, try the club sandwich. That is really good. I hope this video wasn't too boring for you guys. And uh, stay tuned for part two. Like I said, this is just part one. Part two, we'll do the ghost hunting. And also, I got to check out the, uh, the jail too. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching. You guys be safe out there.